apparently they have a magic formula. They call it the science of sexy. Yeah, I'm gonna break that formula down piece by piece and I'm gonna give you my opinion on the all new 0211 irons from PXG. As an owner of the original 0211 irons, I think I'm well placed to not only judge the performance of, uh, of the new version, but also compare it to that of the old. And later on in the video, we will have data for both new and old and we'll do a fair old comparison. Also in this video, I will be announcing the winner of my own 0211 original irons. Right, well, as with yesterday's video uh, on the driver, uh, we can't ignore the price of this because it is a big, big story and nothing what we expected from PXG. So the irons are gonna be 130 pound uh, British pound and 195 US dollars. Hello, I am told that at the moment there's even a launch offer on the US website. Uh, so make sure you go and check that out. But I think the thing is, affordability is always at your own discretion. I can't tell you whether or not that's a good price or not. But what it does do is anybody who is considering a new set of irons, then it brings PXG into that equation, which it wouldn't have ordinarily been. But the question is, are they any good? And I suppose really, what we really wanna know is, what are you looking for, Anne? What I'm looking for from this iron is to see what the progression is from the previous 0211, but then in my head all along with this range that's come out from PXG, it's how is it performing against what are its competitors? Because now it's become, it's in that mainstream category. So it's gonna have to really do something to, we've got a great price tag, we've got a great looking iron in my opinion, but how is it gonna do in all those other areas in terms of performance? We shall see. Well, that's probably the best shot of it all morning. That is right down the pipe, as I like to say. I won't comment on that one because that was absolute pure and I think I could have hit a shovel and that thing would have felt fantastic. But the initial feeling was extremely good, but I think it's fair to say, like I said, I got that out the middle. I want to get a few out the heel, toe and uh, out the bottom grooves, which no doubt I will. So I want to carry on hitting a few balls first of all, and then we'll have a little bit of more discussion on how these things look. bad follow-up either. So what am I looking for from a set of irons? Well I, I want forgiveness still but I want it built into a small and compact profile and they followed suit as have uh, many this year in trying to build that smaller more compact profile but not small enough to detract from the sort of confidence level that might inspire quite a few uh, less confident players let's say but it is very forgiving and the performance of it has been exactly where it expected to be in loft relation uh, to distance. Um, no surprises there, but perhaps the biggest surprise, as with the first set of 0211, is they've made an extremely good feeling set of cast irons. And that's where that product, the previous iteration, really stood out for me. And I think they've done a fantastic job of doing exactly that. And I don't know whether you can hear it or pick it up when I strike a ball, but um, it's soft. It is soft feeling iron. And I think they've done an incredible, that dual core, the foam inside, the magic inside, whatever it is, definitely dulls down, mutes that sound, gives a nice soft feeling, not one that you'd necessarily expect from a cast club. That's enough from in here. Let's get back inside, a bit warmer, analyze some data and see how this thing has performed. Right, so that's data collected and we'll get to that very soon. But what I haven't really touched on is the looks. And I think if we're gonna look at what improvements have been made from the previous, the original 0211s, then I think for me, looks is one of those things that uh, an improvement has been made. And only minor again, first of all, the profile, the overall profile has been reduced down in its size. Certainly from heel to toe, it looks a lot shorter in terms of uh, that length and therefore that's a lot more compact and I like that. Um, but it's the back end of it really and again I suppose it's only aesthetics but one thing I wasn't overly keen on from the original 0211s and I mentioned it in my review of them was a sort of plastic insert that they put in with the PXG branding on and it moved away from that the PXG logo is etched into the body of the club and I think it looks much classier. 
but just overall, just a much more cleaner look. The other thing I wanna draw a reference to is the fact that we haven't really talked about the lofts, and yes, these are strong lofted, so your standard set, uh, seven iron as a barometer, 28 degrees, we know that's extremely strong lofted. What they've done is they've put extra wedges in this set in terms of availability, so you've got, um, gap wedge, lob wedge, sand wedge, and also you've got the pitching wedge. But what they've done with the design of the wedges, I think they're really good looking wedges. So sometimes I think that we buy up to pitching wedge and you throw in some, uh, your, your own set of wedges, if you like, which is often uh, a separate brand or whatever. But I think they've made a real good job of the profile um, of these wedges. A real tick in a the box there for me. But the other point to note just before we finish on looks, and I mentioned that 28 degrees in terms of how strong it's lofted, if you want, you can go, I've seen it online this morning, you've got the option to weaken that by two degrees. You can also strengthen them as well. But I think most people, if they've got an issue with that strong loft, you can weaken them so that 28 becomes 30 degrees and obviously that would uh, then translate throughout the set. So that's another option. That's the last bit. We've done the looks, we've, we've broke down every part of the formula. We now need to look at the data and see, do they actually work? Right, for those of you who are looking to find out who won the original set of irons, then you're gonna to have to wait right till the very end, I'm afraid, and we will announce that winner. But for now, it's into the data. And uh, as with previous, what I'm gonna do, I think I told you earlier on the video, I've recorded for both this seven iron and the original seven iron. That's what we'll use for the barometer. Uh, points of reference, the original product was 31 degrees, so quite a bit different in terms of uh, the strength of loft, and that is certainly reflected in the numbers. So here they are up on screen for you now. Um, We'll start off with that original. It was a great performing iron, there's no doubt about it. Um, close to 80 mile an hour ball speed, 5985 spin, 163.9 carry, 16.8 launch, and uh, ball speeds of 117. That is really good performance. There's no arguments there. And then you throw in what is the, uh, the new version, and uh, this is what you get. Uh, 83 mile an hour club head speed. Now I'm assuming, I think I'm right in saying, slightly longer shaft as well on the new product. So that'll account for the slightly uh, quicker um, club head speed perhaps. 5075, so we lost a bit of the spin number. And again, that'll be relative uh, to the strength of the loft. 174 carry, 16.2. So not a lot of difference in terms of the launch. Uh, 121 ball speed. So not a massive difference in terms of the launch angle, which was really good to see. So even though three degrees stronger, still launching at 16.2, and that 10 yards of extra carry. But I think you can sort of put that to one side in terms of... Um, I think one of the things we were looking at in terms of breaking down the formula, crazy distance. They're not crazy distance, they're, they're stronger lofted and therefore they've, they've gone further. Um, but it's very much relative and I think when you put that, um, the previous year's model against it and you look at that loft, then you certainly see they're doing uh, the same in terms of performance. There's no great difference there. In terms of the forgiveness thing, how do you measure it? I've always said it. For me, the one thing the review is lacking is I've not took them out on the course and I can't do that unfortunately right now. So I'd like to be able to have done that to give you a better and fairer assessment. But to put it in a nutshell, I suppose the easiest thing to say is this. We all know about the price thing. It's a massive big deal. Uh, they're affordable or more affordable to more golfers. In terms of their formula of uh, science of sexy, or whatever they called it, I think it's a great looking iron, but once again, that's down to you as an individual. The performance was where I'd want it to be. The feel was great for a cast club. I mean, the problem again, uh, the 0211 original iron was a really, really good iron. So in terms of that feel thing, that's just translated back into this new product. Not improved, but it was already very, very good indeed. So I think the overall story again is they've achieved, a, it's a great product. It's at a great price, or it's a very good price, that's up to you. Uh, looks good, ticks all them boxes. But ultimately, it's always that same thing, isn't it? It's about you going out and trying and seeing what you think. Get custom fit and draw your own conclusions. But uh, in terms of second product, product in of the review, then uh, it's hard to knock it. And yet again, we're still asking questions as why has there been this massive change from PXG in terms of the direction that they've took this product line. I have no idea what the reason or logic is. All I know is it's uh, an option now for more golfers, which I can't uh, stress enough. And that's gotta be a good thing. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. If you, uh, if you do like what you see, then please consider subscribing. We're doing a lot 
putting a lot of effort into the production value of these things right now, so any support is always greatly appreciated. And the final thing you'll get is at the end of all this, we're going to announce that winner at long last. So uh, well done to whoever. Well, thanks you all for entering who did, and uh, congrats to our winner. Right, the draw has been made. These clubs are going to somebody called Simon White. And uh, Simon, from your comments, I believe you, uh, you live in Northern Ireland, uh, where you won't get much use out of these for a while because you're also on lockdown. But either way, Happy New Year. New-ish set of clubs coming your way. I hope you enjoy them. It's a great set of irons. So uh, well done. Thanks for watching and thanks for everybody who entered. Uh, that's it. We're done. Take care.